Hey guys, welcome to Protocolers Point. In this photo tutorial, we're gonna read a contact list from my phone directory and show it in our Flutter application. So let's begin. So as you can see over here, I have created a Flutter project that fetch uh, contact details from my phone directory and is been showing over here. So here I am just showing my profile photo of my friends and the person name and the phone number over here. So the phone number I have just made use of substring so that I can just uh, show particular range of phone number because I don't want to show my phone number of my family members. Okay, so let's begin with the tutorial. So now we are in our Android Studio and I have just opened my existing Fogata project in my uh, Android Studio IDE that I have made use in my previous tutorial. And in main.dart page for now we simply have a app bar with a body. Uh, with a text widget over here and nothing else okay so first of all we need to add two dependencies in pop specification.yaml file mm, those are flutter contact to read contact from my mobile device and the second library is url launcher so that uh, whenever a user press on any contact list he will be redirected to make a call okay and just add these two plugins and hit this pub get button okay after that uh, there are some setup needed to be done in platform side that is android and ios so first of all we will do in android part so for that go to android folder gridle.property and check if android x is enabled it must be true and android jetifer enable jetifer must be true just check it if it is not there you just need to add this two lines of code okay and then just go to app build.gridle file and over here verify if your compilation sdk version is more than 28 in my case it is 32 it's fine okay if not you just need to make it greater than 28 okay now go to sources main android manifest and over here you need to add two permissions so for that i have just uh, wrote an article of how to read a contact list and show it in a list view okay so over here you will just get those instruction of how to do that so just copy these two permissions and paste it in manifest just after this manifest file tag okay after that uh, to make a phone call we just need to add this permission that is action that is action dollar okay so just copy this query and paste it after this before this uh, application ending over here okay and that's it okay so we are done with the uh, android part so now let's go to ios part so open ios folder runner info p list and over here you just need to add a contact reading permission so just copy this and paste it over here after doing that come back to pub specification.yaml file and hit this pub get button okay now go to main.dat code and over here you need to import those packages so import uh, the first thing is flutter contact and the second one is the url launcher so now to read the contact um, here i have just added the code for the easy purpose so you can see get all the contacts so this is the method that gets all the contact for us so just copy it and paste it here in stateful widget over here so just add it so this will not work because we just need to integrate this in, inside a function to get the contact okay so let's do that so init state so inside init state i will just call a method get phone data so this is the function i have created so let's create it void get okay so we must make this as get contact as a synchronization so now here inside this i will just get the contact okay and make it nullable 
okay so now i am just fetching the contact but this will not work because we just need to ask the user for a permission uh, to access the contact details so for that here if await flutter contact dot request permission so this will request the permission to access the contact uh, directory so after uh, giving the grant permission we can just fetch the contact details okay so now we can make use of this contact details so show in our folder app so inside this we will just make use of uh, list view builder okay so before that we just need to check if a contact is empty if it is empty then we need to show a circular progress bar okay and if it is not empty then we will just load our contact list okay so for that over here list view builder so let me take this line below list view builder build context So here return list tell and inside list tell we will just show a contact name. So for that text widget. So inside text widget we will show the contact name. So the contact name we can get by making use of contact and the index position dot first name dot first okay and here it is nullable so we must add this symbol okay and let's check it by refreshing so you can see it is been showing a loading symbol okay so it is loading yeah uh, so i just forgot one thing so after loading the contact i must call set state property okay so now let's check hot refresh So you can see the contact list name is been shown in this list view builder. Okay. Okay. So now I want to show a profile photo over here with a number. So let's do that. So for that, here inside list builder. Uh, okay. One more thing I just forgot. So item count, contact. dot length okay so just do that okay so now here to get a profile photo you must make use of you int 8 list okay image is equal to contact index dot photo okay so now inside this list tell there is a property called as leading so inside this leading i can just show the profile photo so for that first of all i must check if the profile photo is empty or null uh, if it is null then i just need to show a separate different icon and everything so let's do that so for that image is equal to null if it is null then we will show a circular author else we will just show the profile photo circle avatar okay so now let me hot refresh and check if the profile photo is been showing or no Okay, so you can see the avatar icon is been showing because most of my contact do not have a profile photo. Okay, so now you can see over here I have a contact which has a profile photo is been set. Okay, so now let's uh, show a phone number over here. So for that, uh, inside this, before showing the list tell, I must get the phone number. 
सो फॉर दैट स्ट्रिंग नंबर इज इक्वल टू कॉन्टैक्ट ऑफ इंडेक्स डॉट फोन सो फोन डॉट इज एम टी इफ इट इज नॉट एम टी देन टेक द फोन नंबर लाइक दिस एंड इफ द फोन नंबर इज एम टी देन वी विल जस्ट शो अ डैश सो फॉर दैट लाइक दिस ओके Okay, so in some cases we save the person email address or fax address or anything, but we don't save a phone number. In that case, we are going to do this. If phone number exists, then just fetch the phone number. Else, then keep the phone number as dash. Okay, so now we can just make use of this and show it in our list view. So over here, subtitle text. and over here we can just show the number okay so i am going to trim the phone number because i don't want to include phone number in this video tutorial so what i will do is here phone number i am going to uh, split from a uh, zero position to two second position okay dot two string okay so now if i hot refresh and check you can see the phone number is been shown okay so now i can just i want to implement when a user press on this i want to redirect to make a phone call okay so for that in the list tell on tab okay here launch url that is tell type of uh the link you want to generate means phone call email or everything will come into this i have made a video tutorial about this url launcher you can just go to through that okay so here i want to make a call to the phone number that the user has selected okay so now if i hot refresh and when i press on a, a contact you can see i am been redirected and the phone number is been shown over here and the user can make a call okay so that's all for this video tutorial hope you got the concept the complete source code is in my website protocolers.com you can go through it if you face any issues so everything is over here the complete source code is there you can just copy and paste and try it yourself So that's all for this video tutorial hope you got learned a new thing uh, thanks for watching please do subscribe protocolers point thank you